Greetings, my ninjas. Boss Labs here, back again with another Battlefield 3 gameplay commentary. This time it's Close Quarters Conquest on Operation 925. And this was uh, pretty much really quickly after the, the DLC came out. Um, you'll notice here I am running around like crazy. I have no idea where I'm going. Even though I've seen some videos of the uh, of the map before I played it, um, the only way you really learn maps is, is by doing them, and, and you'll you'll see several times here that I am totally lost. This is like uh, my third, maybe fourth match, and I think one of my first ones in Operation Nine to Five. So we quickly got one flag, two flags. Uh, you'll see here in a minute that uh, the reason why this we seem to be just cakewalking through here is there's very few people on the other team. Now, as, as this game progresses, that changes. So, you know, more and more people come in and it gets a lot more heated and more contested. But as you can see, the maps are gorgeous. And the destruction on them are, is... Is, is very impressive and uh, one of the things you won't see in this game which is probably a, 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 an unusual event is there's no one C4 in the, the flags that is a very very bad um, habit of people including myself <laughs> they'll take the flag and then they'll, they'll lay C4 around it and either go hide, which I don't care to do, or they'll run off to go for another capture point, but keeping an eye on the one of the flags that, that you had uh, planted C4 at. It starts flashing. Um, you can either wait a couple of seconds to make sure that they're just not running through, you know, to, to, to check to see if there's C4, because if you get an itchy trigger finger on that C4 clicker, you know, you'll set it off way too early because they just ran through and they'll capture the point. But if you're just a little bit patient, if it continues to flash, then set it off. And usually the C4 will get anybody that's close to the flag. As you can see, the flags on, uh, on the close quarters conquest mode, you have to uh, be fairly close to them. They, they uh, disable very slowly. But once you have them disabled, they'll come back and they'll, they'll switch to your side very quickly. So it makes a very fast-paced game. Um, one of the reasons why you haven't seen any videos from me lately is with the, um, with the Rena server program that, that DICE and EA brought out. Uh, a lot of people are making custom game modes. Finding DICE or EA regular servers is kind of rough to do. And uh, all the rental servers, they seem to have more tickets or... Well, I guess that's just it. They, 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 they jack up the ticket count, so that makes a very, very long game. And kind of difficult to edit down a, a 40 minute or an hour gameplay down to, to something that I could talk and talk to and upload and not drive you guys crazy with an hour plus gameplay of me running around like a headless chicken. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, some of those games are just fantastic uh, because I get really, I'm, I'm, I have a tendency to go positive nowadays for some reason. I, I don't know whether I'm finally getting adjusted to to Battlefield, although I still do some really stupid stuff sometimes. Sometimes I do some really smart stuff, and my KD ratio for a particular game proves that out. Sometimes I go two, sometimes I go three uh, uh, kill death ratio on games. And sometimes I win, we win a game, sometimes we don't, so... Yes, but but I have definitely improved as far as my gameplay goes on the map. But 
I know for a fact that I don't want to make a 40 minute game <laughs> and you guys won't want to watch it so um, when, when I do post the game up it will probably be severely edited or like these close quarters mountain games which have a tendency to be very quick um, even though they're, they're just crazy running all the time um, yeah, they're, they're really good for for these videos even though I may not do fantastic on the time here I just got lucky and got on uh, a friend of mine's uh, server and uh, Seer Specialist is is his name. <clears throat> here I'm totally lost. There's absolutely nowhere to go down here. You get down here in the parking garage and you, you just run into a complete dead end. But anyway, <clears throat> playing on his server and uh, he was, a, you know, he had a couple of his clan mates on there in, in this team as well. So, uh, you know, I had some good teammates to play with. Unfortunately, TJ, who I normally play with, is on the other team, and they couldn't get switched over. So that's, that's one of the bad things, I guess, the best about about battle fiddle is you can get you can get your party, even if you're in a, a you know an Xbox chat with them, your party can be split up into different different teams, <clears throat> and sometimes you can just you know get get split up between squads, and that's easy enough to fix. But sometimes when you're on a different team you can't change. You either the game is full or it would be a too unbalanced or something like that. So it's it's difficult sometimes to to to, to switch to the correct team as, as you're playing so you can play with your friends. Uh, but I guess that would be just a minor issue. And here I'm doing something stupid trying to ramble over mine. <laughs> I should have known they were coming out of that level room. Uh, like, I, like I said, you know, this this is like one of my first few matches, and it's definitely the first match on, on Operation 9 to 5 that I recall. Um, and um, I guess I could be forgiven for a little bit for not knowing a match. <laughs> So anyway, here I, I've determined that this is a good flank route, at least for me. And unfortunately, my aim is a the shit. So I missed that guy, but uh, I'm gonna take the flag back. And, well, good. good yeah, I, I, I should have. I should have tried to reflank that guy instead of going head on, thinking that he ran off. He he probably turned around and waited for me. So anyway, um, one of the things that uh, the, uh, the servers have allowed, and, and Biggie had he had his own server for quite some time, which and, and he made uh, uh, TJ and myself admins on the server, and you can get some really douchey players on on these games sometimes. Um, Biggie had made some relatively simple rules for, for gameplay. Uh, there was no spawn killing uh, vehicles and, and stealing the vehicles out of spawn. And later on, when the uh, when the dart glitch for the M26 uh, was out, he banned. He he, he said no M26 dart. And some of these people will go out of their way just to see how far they can push it. And yeah, if you play like that, you're going to get, you're going to get banned. Or kicked, rather. I usually try not to ban somebody, but they come back and they continue to do it, and I've had to ban a few people. Anyway, Biggie's, Biggie's server has expired. And he, he's not really interested in, in renewing it, and, and I'm really not interested in starting a server. <laughs> so. We, we pick some servers and, and favor them that they have uh, rules that uh, that we like, like you know, to no, know uh, raping of vehicles in the spawn. You know, tactically that may may make sense, but we're, we're talking about a video game here. We're not talking about total war, <clears throat> so you should have a little bit of, of sportsmanship 
And uh, let's face it, if the only way you can kill aircraft is by hitting them in the, in the, on a runway, when they're not even, when there's no vehicles in there, or there's nobody in them, or if someone's just trying to take off, if that's the only way you can get your kills, you don't need to stay out of planes. Right? Because you suck. <laughs> And as tempting as it is sometimes, I will make a wide pass from their base just to let the aircraft get in the air. Now, sometimes that's not the smart thing to do because the person is better than I am. And uh, they, yeah, which, which is not really surprising, I would think. <laughs> but they're better than I am as far as flying and interacting. So letting them get up and, and, and do a circle circle, circle, circle dance up in the sky, and eventually he gets the, the, the better of me and then kills me. So, you know, it's probably not the smart thing to do, but in my mind, it's the fairer thing to do to not destroy the vehicles on the airstrip. Or take the helicopter and hover, hover, hover and see people land back behind the, the, the enemy helicopter spawn but you can do that even though it's out of bounds or still in, a, in, a, in the aircraft and, and for some reason it doesn't uh, it, it's out of it's out of bounds for for enemy players if they're not in uh, you know type of aircraft vehicle but for vehicles it's still within the, the boundaries so they can land or, or hover back behind the, uh, the other helicopter and what they do is they wait until you spawn into the helicopter and then they, they shoot it, blow it up. You know, you know what, what kind of, uh, you know, that's, that's a douche. <laughs> and you know, even if you, you know they're there, you know, it, it's still really hard to pop into the helicopter, take off, spin around, and try to shoot the guy down when he's, when he's all lined up just waiting for you to get in the aircraft. So, so yeah, a lot of the, the battle, battle log foreign field guys uh, think it's perfectly fine. I, however, do not. So maybe that's just the way I was brought up. You know, you, you, you treat people like, like you would like to be treated and you go on from there. Instead of just seeing how big of an asshole you can be. But, like I said, that's just me. So anyway, we're getting along pretty good here in the game. We're about three quarters of the way through. And, um... I think I did fairly well. I mean, it, yeah, obviously there was... There were some, um... Mistakes that I made along the way. And you know, kind of a couple of ramble revives. I should have known people were there and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm still pushing towards the objective, still PTFO, and, and uh, just really having a good time. Yeah, I don't know if you saw on the B flag there, I chucked a grenade at it. That's uh, one good way to clear off the C4, you know, you just blow it up. <laughs> Here, I think I heard somebody. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I heard him on my headset. So, the sound in the close quarters games, especially on these multi level maps like this, sometimes is distracting. Uh, you think you hear somebody, you know, you, and there are several games I was, I was watching myself, you know, uh, playing back on the game and uh, noticed that I was spinning in circles once and I figured, I remembered, I said, oh yeah, that's where I was hearing somebody. And it may have been another 9 to 5 game. And uh, the person I was looking for was upstairs. It was on the upper level. But I could hear them running around. So anyway, that's the game. I didn't do too bad on the score. Definitely won. Thank you for watching. A fun game, but I sure lost a lot of my running gun skills. That is, if I ever really truly had any to begin with. <laughs> Please visit us at mash more buttons. That is http colon slash slash reset dot mash more buttons dot com. Armored Kill is just a month away, and I can't wait to play it. And once I get it, we'll, we'll have videos of it. 
But until next time, later my ninjas. <laughs>